Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I'm going to focus in here um, on this particular video is to help you out with factoring uh, polynomials. Okay, and we're going to um, start by looking at factoring out the G, GCF, which is the greatest common factor. So um, hopefully you're kind of familiar with what I'm going to be trying to do here. And um, factoring is such an important skill in algebra. You really, really need to master it. And you can kind of think of factoring as taking something and just write it in its, writing it in its factor. So for example, if I have 10 and I said factor 10, what I'm asking you to do is to write it um, as a product of two other numbers, okay, which we call factors. So for example, 10 is 2. Um, I could write it as 2 times 5 because 2 times 5 equals 10. So 2 times 5, 2 and 5 are factors, okay? So if I ask you to factor, let's say, 10x, well, you could write that maybe as 10 times x, okay? That gives you 10x. Or you could maybe write this as 5 times 2x. That also gives gets you back to 10x, okay? So these here would be considered uh, factors. And you can see, this is a real basic example, there's a number of different ways to... Um, a um, number of different approaches to factoring something, and um, there are oftentimes multiple, way, multiple ways we can write um, our factors. But anyways, so this right here is 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x. So what I'm looking to do is to factor it in such a way where I have something times something else, and that's going to get me back to 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x. Okay, so that's the objective. And what we're going to focus on in this particular example is the greatest common factor. Okay, so if you're not, um, this is the first time you're seeing this, I just say go ahead and watch the video once and, uh, you know, uh, get kind of used to what I'm doing here. So watch it through. I think after the second or third time, you'll, this will all start to click. But remember, what we're trying to do is to factor this polynomial. Okay, so greatest common factor. So this is how you do it. What you want to do is look at each one of these terms in this polynomial. Okay, we're going to look at each one of these terms, and we're going to kind of factor each individual term. So 4x cubed, I can write as 2 times 2, and then x cubed, I can write as x times x times x. Okay. So this one over here, this negative 2x squared, I can write this, let's just kind of keep it as 2 for now, 2x times x, right? That's the same thing as 2x squared. And then 6x, I can write that as 2 times 3 times x, okay? All right, so greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is the greatest thing that all three of these terms, the factors of these terms, have in common. Okay, so let's ask ourselves, what do all three of these factorings, um, all three of these terms, factors have in common? Well, they definitely have a 2. Okay, each one of them have a 2. So because they all have a 2 in common, that's going to be part of our greatest common factor. So that would be a 2. Now we just have to focus in on the x, okay, or the x's. So this one has 3, this one has 2, and this one has 1. But guess what? Okay, the only thing that they all have in common is only one x because this poor fellow over here only has one x. Okay, it doesn't have two, it doesn't have three. So all of them, at least, all three of these terms have at least an x in com a common. So they all have a two in common and they all have an x in common. And, the, and beyond that, they don't have anything else in common. Okay, so two x is the greatest common factor. All right? Okay, so hopefully that kind of made sense to you. And now what we have to do is, is to go ahead and use the greatest common factor to factor this polynomial. So what do we do? Okay. Well, we're going to write our uh, greatest common factor like this, 2x. And then I want you to write two parentheses just like this. Okay. And I want you to be thinking to yourself about the distributive property. Okay. If I was going to take 2x and multiply it by something, okay, and I want it to get back to my original first term, which was 4x cubed, what would I have to multiply 2x by? Okay, well, if you think about it, 2x times something, what, okay, wait, let me just ask you, let me just uh, state this in a different way. 2x times something else gets us back to 4x cubed. What would that be? Well, we need a 2 to get that 4, right? 
and we need an x squared because 2x times 2x squared will get me back to 4x cubed. So this is the whole idea behind factoring. Now, if you look at it, if I take my 2 and my x out, okay, that's my GCF, well, look what I'm left with, okay? I'm left with 2x squared, right? So that's what I have here, 2x squared as my uh, factoring, okay? So minus, okay, we're moving on to the second term now, 2x times what will get me back to my negative 2x squared? Well, I have my minus there, okay? Um, it looks like I only need an x, right? Because here I have my 2 and my x as part of my GCF. So all I need is an x, and I'll throw my negative sign there, so it's a negative 2x squared. So if you think about it, 2x times this minus x will get me back to 2x squared. Okay? All right, so like I said, if you're a little lost, um, just stick with this. Believe me, I've seen uh, students, when they initially learn this, they, uh, you know, uh, it's a little tough uh, for most students in the beginning, but after a while, a light bulb will click on. No big deal. All right, so 2x times what else will get us back to 6x? Okay, so just let's go back over here, look at our factors. 2x is our GCF, so 3 is what we need, right? So 2x times 3 will get us back to um, 6x. So this is the factor here, okay? We just factored this out. 2x times 2x squared minus x plus 3, because if you went ahead and used a distributor property, and you took 2x times all three of these things, you would get back to our original uh, polynomial, okay? And 2x is considered the greatest common factor. All right. Okay, so this is kind of like the um, step one or phase one when you're starting to learn um, how to factor polynomials. And like I said, I consider for most, for most students, I would consider uh, factoring pretty challenging um, for them. But anyways, if you need um, help, please come by our, our uh, site, algebratesthelper.com, uh, chock full of free videos and other uh, great uh, tutorials, all designed to, to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.